I'd like to introduce you to the miracle of Chinese bamboo. It all begins with a seed and with the vision of someone willing to wait. A Chinese farmer, usually struggling to survive and provide for his family, plants the seed and sets his hope and vision on all it will provide when it towers 90 feet above his head. With a heart toward the future, he digs hole after hole, plants the seeds, then begins their care. Day after day, he carries water to the spots he has marked. And because it's human nature to want to see results, he carefully inspects the spots every day. Nothing. Knowing he has to feed his family, he plants other crops, carefully sown around the spots that contain the real hope for his future. He continues to water them every day, feeding them carefully and watching. Nothing. The other crops sprout within weeks, providing nourishment for his family within months, but provide nothing for the future. These crops will not make his dreams come true. They will simply provide for the present. The Chinese bamboo seeds contain all his hopes, his dreams. A whole year goes by. Nothing. He continues to haul water. He stares endlessly at the spots but sees nothing but barren ground. His hopes, his dreams seem so very far away. There is no evidence of life. Has the seed rotted? Has it died before it ever had a chance to grow? Another year goes by. Nothing. His neighbors, those who don't know and believe in the miracle of the Chinese bamboo, laugh at him. They mock his vision for the future. They look on with scorn as he hauls buckets of water to the spots. He begins to question himself. Will it ever grow? Is he pouring water and his life's energy into something that will reap no reward for him? Another year goes by. Nothing. Three years of pouring water, energy, and hope into the Chinese bamboo. Nothing to show for it. Yet he's heard of the miracle of the Chinese bamboo. He's heard of the huge rewards that come to those who believe. One day he stands over the spots and he cries his frustration and fears. The spots reveal nothing. The barren ground seeming to mock him. Yet the wind whispers hope to him. He sighs and hauls yet more buckets of water. Another year goes by. Nothing. Four years. Four years of hoping, wishing, and diligently tending his dream. Surely the miracle will happen now. His neighbors have quit laughing. They no longer even care. Yet they talk quietly among themselves of the farmer who isn't quite right. At this point, the farmer isn't even sure. Yet, he's fallen into a habit, so he continues to water the spots. He continues to feed them. It's simply what he does now, with no knowledge of reward, just the simple, now unspoken hope that life resides beneath the spots he so carefully tends. Another year passes. Nothing. Five years. The farmer is tired. Tired of hauling buckets. Tired of growing and tending so many other crops to feed his struggling family. Tired of trying to keep his dream alive. Tired of seeing no results day after day. He stares hopelessly at the spots. There cannot possibly be life after so many years. He must have watered them wrong. He must not have fed them correctly. If only he had done things differently, there would be growth. Despair rocks his soul. Five years he has poured into his dream, into his hope for a better future. His dream mocks him. The vision of a better life for his family melts away under harsh reality. Tears 
fill his eyes as he grabs for the last hope residing in his soul and slowly lifts the bucket to pour water onto his dream. After five years, he realizes it would be folly to give up. Then comes the morning when the whole village is jolted awake by the cries of joy from the farmer. They watch startled from their windows as he runs down the dusty road calling for his family to come see. As his family races back up the road after him, the rest of the village pours from their houses to see what has this crazy farmer so excited. They find the family clustered around the spots, talking excitedly. From the edge of the road, they can see green sprouts thrusting out from the barren ground. They seem to be growing before their very eyes. The farmer is dancing. The miracle has happened, he cries. The miracle has come. The spots become the place for everyone in the village to come, watching in amazement as the bamboo grows and grows and grows. Five feet, ten feet, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. In just six weeks, the bamboo has grown ninety feet tall. Five years of nothing, and now this. Ninety feet in six weeks. It is truly a miracle. The farmer stands to the side. He is aware all his dreams have come true. The harvest of the bamboo will provide all he dreamed of for his family. The bamboo that will replace what is harvested springing forth from the deep roots forming during the last five years will provide for generations to come. He also realizes the lessons he has learned are far more valuable. He learned to plant a dream. He learned to do the daily things that would make it a reality. He learned to ignore those who said it couldn't happen. He learned to push past his own fear and doubt and keep taking action. He learned to have faith when there was no reason to have faith. Now he smiles every time he walks through the village. Everyone is hauling buckets of water to their own spots, gazing over at his towering 90 feet tall bamboo. They know what can happen because of him because of his willingness to blaze the trail and make his dream come true. What about you? What are you willing to do to make your dreams come true? How long are you willing to work? How long are you willing to take action? How long are you willing to push past your fear and doubt? How much faith and belief are you willing to have? I hope your answer is one that will help you achieve all you dream of in life. As you continue to dream, do so knowing that someone believes in you enough to send you this movie. Someone believes in you enough to make sure you understand the miracle of Chinese bamboo because they believe you can create miracles in your life.